all right so we'll discuss what we are going to discuss today so first we are going to see understanding about plugins next installing additional plugins whatever is necessary next set up maven on jenkins so far our maven server is differ and jenkins server is differ but we are going to set up maven on jenkins then run a maven job from jenkins and dsl jobs then maven and sorry master and slave in jenkins then integrating artifactory with jenkins and jenkins pipeline maybe all these concepts we may not cover we may cover till here or else dsl jobs till here we are going to cover in today's session let's jump in so i have already started my jenkins server and i also logged into my jenkins server my jenkins server name is jenkins server we have renamed it but uh, in previous or uh, two classes before we have commented out the our existing host name so it was not picking up so i removed it and i just kept only jenkins server even you can do the same thing next thing i am accessing my jenkins server from the browser and 8080 is the port number Username is Jenkins, password also Jenkins at 123. Okay, I have logged into my Jenkins server. So most of you know that how does it work? So you understand the console now. Uh, nothing in the build queue. Usually in, in, in general what happens in the build queue, there could be few jobs will be waiting to execute by your Jenkins server and uh, execution uh, build executions uh, executor status if any builds are happening it is going to display over here you can see here you can see only two numbers nothing but at a time it can able to run the at a time it can able to run only two jobs at a time sorry at the same point of time it can run only two jobs if you want to run more than two jobs you need to increase this build executor status you can increase depends upon the your jenkins server capabilities we are going to see whenever we are talking about master and slave systems right now we are going to talk about ma manage jenkins so you can see here here we have a lot of jobs and uh, there is a warning but just ignore it so configure system configure global security uh, so like this we have various options and uh, we are going to talk about manage plugins if you do remember we have installed comp uh, few plugins while installing our Jenkins those are recommended by Jenkins whenever we were installing so here if you click on the plugins uh, manage plugins you will come to this page under this page you have updates available installed and advanced so here in uh, installed whatever plugins you have installed on your system you can see those plugins over here I'm just clicking on installed you can see here and plugin we have installed during the installation next uh, um, bouncy castle api plugin build timeout next command agent launcher plugin like this we have uh, some plugins and here you can see few other plugins but there is no uninstall option over here why because these all are the dependency plugins nothing but if i want to install this plugin these plugins are necessary so it installs the dependency plugin then it installs the other plugin as well but anyway we are going to see in a while so these all our plugins are available on this system now if you want to install any additional plugins you can go to the available stage so in available stage you have lot of plugins okay which are developed by the jenkins and these plugins are available so this is uh, plugins are one of the reason why we use mostly jenkins because it can interact with the any tool or most of the tools which are available in jenkins whenever you have plugins then only your jenkins can interact it if you don't have plugin the, your jenkins cannot interact with the uh, the tool which you want to use so it is always necessary that you should have a plugin even now i want to interact with maven if i don't have maven plugin i cannot able to interact with my maven server that's the reason i must install maven even git as well 
if i don't have git plugin i cannot able to interact with my git so it's it's always necessary that you should install respective plugins now these plugins are developed by your jenkins guys so if i go to uh jenkins plugins okay you can see here jenkins plugins dot io if you go here you can search for the plugins whatever is necessary so this is the where you can search for your plugin assume that i need git plugin i can search for the git plugin it displays the git plugin in git also there are different kind of stuff is there maybe we may not use all this stuff but this is the git plugin but the same thing will be available over here so over here in available state if you search for git you can find the git but at this moment you cannot find it because available state it is going to show you only the plugins which are not installed which are not installed but git plugin we have already installed but still you can see some results these all are the additional git uh, github authentication this is also github authentication and uh, git cloning build notification github issues like this we have few other keywords came whenever we search for git but if i go and search for installed state git you can see the git plugin yep you can see this one git plugin so this is the git plugin which we are talking about and uh, you can able to see the git plugin to install or uninstall maybe it is not showing uh, it is showing as a dependency but usually you can see the git plugin you you need to install manually okay so like this you have hundreds of plugins sorry so you have hundreds of plugins in your uh, git uh, io you can just go to plugins and you can search whatever plugin you need and you can see the category wise these are all our new plugins recently updated and training plugins okay so these all are the uh, categories which are divided but most of the cases we are going to search our git plugins in, under available state and if it is under installed stage nothing but it is already available for our jenkins system if you don't find something in installed state you can come and search for available let's talk about maven maven also it's installed so you can see here you cannot able to see the maven integration is there yep so this we need maven integration and even you can go and search for maven over here you can see here there is no plugin for maven there is no plugin for maven in the installed state so we are going for in the available page and search for search for maven okay so maven integration plugin we should install so select the plugin whatever you would like to install and you can see here the versions they have they are going to specify these versions keep on updating whenever they have your latest plugins so maven integration plugin 3.6 if we have installed maven integration plugin after that they have released 3.7 then it will show up under update status currently these uh, jenkins system we have installed recently and whatever plugins are installed there is no updates for these plugins but once we have installed and any updates came for those plugins then it is going to show you over here right so i will go again to available plugins and maven it's taking time here okay maven so for maven you need to install maven integration plugin okay maven integration plugin do we need any other plugins no and maven invoker yep sorry so maven invoker as well so these two plugins we we need it maven integration and maven invoker so these two plugins we need to manage our maven next install without restart and download now and install after restart so these two are the options what you can tell to your jenkins that you can choose install without restart nothing but right now it is going to install it download and install after restart if you choose this option it downloads the plugin but it won't install and 
until you restart your Jenkins services. Not the server, Jenkins services. Jenkins services means this Jenkins application. You can go here and uh, service Jenkins. Jenkins stop and service Jenkins start if you do then it is going to install that particular plugin Okay, but I want to go with the install without reboot most of the cases We can install most of the plugins without any restart, but few plugins It is mandatory to restart your server. I mean to say uh, Jenkins server in those case you must go with the restart uh, after installation but anyway, I'm just going with the install without restart. Now you can see here, even though I choose Maven integration and Maven invoker plugin, it is installing Java doc and uh, loading plugin executions. These two are the additional plugins which are added to this one. So whenever you choose your plugin, it automatically grabs the dependency plugins. Even it requires the git plugin, but if some plugins are already installed, it doesn't show us but uh, if you need the plugins uh, Dependency plugins it is going to show you the all the dependency plugins which it is installing Now you have installed the plugins and it this blue color nothing But it is successfully installed and you can see here go back to the top page or else what you can do you can restart Jenkins with ins when installation is complete complete and no jobs are running so now you have installed if you don't want to face any problem you can choose this checkbox if you choose this checkbox you can able to uh, it is automatically restart your jenkins let's choose this one and we'll see you can see here the installation is successful that is the reason it is restarting our jenkins not the server okay so what does it do as i shown you it is going to stop the services and start the services and whenever it started once the jenkins is available it automatically redirect, redirects to the home page but most of the cases you no need you no need to restart your jenkins most of the plugins but few plugins it is always recommended to go with the uh, restart All right, it's just got restarted now again. I'm going to log in Jenkins Jenkins at one two three I have logged in now again. I'm going to my plugins dashboard not updated center manage Jenkins Sorry manage plugins. I can go directly manage plugins now now this time I will go and search for Maven in available status You cannot able to see that one or else I will go and search in the installed state and if I search for Maven You can see here now you could see Maven integration plugin and Maven invoker plugin Earlier it was under available state and we have installed it whenever you want to uninstall you can uninstall So if you install any plugin you can get the option as a uninstall but if you are not installing uh, what I can say that particular plugin you cannot able to uninstall it is a dependency plugin so you need to remove the uh, the plugin which is depended on this plugin it automatically get removed maybe it may be depended on some other and or gradle so if I remove and or gradle it is going to remove it next available if I go and search for available again As a Maven you cannot see the plugins which we have installed if you search for Maven integration or Maven invoker plugins You cannot able to find it because we have already installed so it will be in uninstalled status next advanced so advanced is the uh, what I can say Way you can upload your plugins you can see here upload your plugins assume that some plugins are not at all available Or you might have written your own plugin. Okay, you can write the customized plugins. I don't think so uh, It is necessary, but still few times what you can do you can download your plugins Sometimes you can download your plugin and you can upload over here Okay, you can upload over here and uh, install the plugins that is another way, but uh, most of the cases we don't choose this option Okay 
sometimes it may not pick up under available then you need to go and download the particular plugin and install it okay so this http uh, configuration we never tried it but you just ignore it for now so this is about the plugins so whatever plugins you want to install search in the available state and install it once it is installed it comes into the installed uh, tab and uh, if there is any updates for the installed plugins the updates will be available over here but we don't update frequently maybe if necessary we are going to update it all right now go back to the jenkins that is about the jenkins uh, what i can say maven uh, plugin installation uh, yep i just need to yeah uh, can we know i mean uh, dependencies what plugins are dependent on no it automatically picks up you no need to know or uh, uh, it is not necessary as well because uh, there could be sometimes uh, uh, 30 40 plugins may be necessary to install even if i take git okay git is already installed if i check for the git so git is already this one git plugin is already installed so initially if you start install your first plugin you can see the lot of plugins are installing even if i am installing git it may install 30 40 dependency plugins during the git that's how it comes and a few plugins even for maven also it uh, necessary lot of uh, dependency plugins but uh, those might be installed already we have ant and gradle right ant and gradle also will do the same similar kind of activity how the uh, maven does do so those plugins might be already installed that is the reason you could see only four plugins okay okay sir. no problem next thing uh, you can remove or uninstall your plugins so and we are not going to install anyway sorry using anyway so i'm uninstalling it to uninstall you just need to click on uninstall you can see here you are about to uninstall and plugin this will remove the plugin binaries from the so and so so and so that's okay yes to remove and it has been uninstalling let's wait for a while so you can restart your jenkins server from browser itself so after your jenkins url you can just give restart so it will ask you that are you sure do you want to restart yes i would like to restart so this is simple even instead of going into the uh, what i can say cli and restarting rather than that one you can restart from the browser browser itself just you need to give slash restart so it restarts your jenkins server again you need a, you need permissions to do that one because my jenkins user is an administrative user so that i can do if i create a normal user you cannot able to restart it again i am going to manage jenkins and manage plugins and installed if i go and ant if i search there is no plugin for ant okay so we have removed it and if i search under available state whenever you remove it it will show under available state now because again if you want to install you can search for ant and it displays the and plugin so where does it it is not showing here again i may need to restart it to grab it but anyway so this is how we can uninstall and install required plugins okay any questions on plugins all right so now we have installed our maven plugin now i would like to run my maven job for that you can create a new item and this time earlier i don't know i haven't observed it whether we have maven project or not but once you have installed maven plugin you can see this maven project okay usually it doesn't show up if you don't have the maven project 
so you can see the description build a maven project jenkins take advantage of your palm files and uh, drastically drastically reduce the configuration so it takes the maven palm.xml file and it can build but still you can build your maven project from the freestyle as well okay there is no issue but as i said once you have installed your plugin you need to install your maven as well right sorry you need to configure your maven to your jenkins so that is the reason you should again go to the manage jenkins and you should tell to your uh, what i can say uh, jenkins that where you have installed maven where you have installed maven so just to treat that maven plugin is differ and maven installation is differ so maven installation nothing but on server where you have installed so far we haven't installed maven in this system so far we haven't installed maven in our jenkins system so what we can do we can go to the global tool configuration and if you scroll down usually this maven option you should get whenever you install maven plugin but uh, we have got what i can say pre-installed plugins couple of them that is the reason you might have seen this option earlier as well and if you see here gradle is there now and is not there because we have removed it otherwise it might have shown and as well but now go with the maven installation add the maven you can you need to give the maven name okay this is the maven configuration if you see this one this dotted lines is showing that till here it is maven uh what i can say configuration so i'm just giving name as a maven and you can see here install automatically install automatically and if you choose this one and choose this in install automatically you need to give that where your maven is installed so in case if you have installed manually on your jenkins server you need to give the path of your maven home that is a, a slash opt uh, slash bin we are giving right sorry slash opt slash maven and slash bin right so same thing you need to provide over here maven home directory maven home we are going to set up right that path you need to specify over here otherwise you just need to choose the install automatically but usually we don't go with this option install automatically we don't go with this option this is a temporary way to run only that particular job okay to run only that particular job and you cannot see this installation in the server at all you cannot see that installation or the server at all but to run maven job even you can choose this option but initially we'll go with install automatically then we'll go and install manually apply and this is a shortest way to run your jobs but most of the people doesn't recommend to go with the install automatically option now we can go and create our new job here i'm going to choose jenkins job one okay sorry not jenkins maven maven job one i'm choosing and a maven project this is a maven project so let's try with the maven project and if i click ok then you need to give the description but we are not giving and it is not also parameterized parameterized so we are not choosing let's go with the git and this is the url it is a public url it won't ask for anything now if you scroll down and you can see here three steps okay for the build this is three steps and we are building it so we need to tell to where your palm.xml is located so what does it do this palm.xml it looks for the root directory root directory nothing but you just cloned it here right so here it it looks for the palm.xml assume that this palm.xml is inside src then you need to provide the path of this palm.xml like src slash src slash palm.xml so this is how you need to provide but currently it is under the top level top level nothing but in the uh, root directory itself of this particular repository so just form.xml would be fine now you need to provide the goal goals nothing but how we are giving uh, in our mvn command right so same mvn command it is going to execute so there we are giving goals as a clean and package right 
okay clean and package we are giving so same uh, inputs we are giving clean package install deploy all this stuff we are we can give but we are just going to clean package so it is going to create a package and we are not doing any other stuff apply and we just given the form.xml and what is the goals it has to execute so goals and options here we need to provide the goals and save it now i have created a new job that is maven job one so and uh, we need to execute this job so to execute this job we can execute the build now so let's execute build now now what does it do it is going to pull the code onto your jenkins server and it execute the maven uh, mvn command and it creates the package it creates the package and that information get updated in the workspace so either you can click workspace or else you can get and see but now go and see the build output you can see here it started by jenkins and uh, this is the first time we are running right if you do remember dependency plugins it has to download you can see here from the maven repository it is downloading all the dependency plugins and uh, it's going going so it is downloading all necessary plugins third party plugins onto your maven server so now maven and jenkins are running on a same system okay it gone to test cases and you can see here build is successful and archiving slash where lib workspace maven job one in this particular space there is a form.xml by executing that one it has created a snapshot you can see here com dot galaxy hello world so on so so on so the snapshot name is hello world 1.0 snapshot dot form because in the form dot xml we have given this name then it has been archiving it has been stored under this location which location where lib jenkins workspace then your job name under job you have the target directory under target directory you have uh, workspace so same thing we have seen in our maven classes as well right so if i go inside to this one here you have the your maven job one if i go inside to maven job one you can see here form.xml src this is the source code which has been downloaded from your jenkins system and uh, it is a target directory which is created after executing uh, package okay now under package it's created a jar file that is hello world 1.0 snapshot.jar okay and the test cases results are store, stored over here this surefire is a plugin which is help us to run the test cases so if i go inside to surefire and you can see the test case results all right so this is how we can build our uh, maven code by using the jenkins maven code by using the jenkins now if you do remember here we haven't installed maven on our jenkins system maven in our jenkins system if i run mvn sorry mvn it won't execute in our jenkins system because it is temporary installation whenever you go with the install automatically it doesn't install your maven in your jenkins system only it stores for temporary purpose to execute your job once job is executed you cannot able to find the maven but if you need your maven all the time on your jenkins you need to install manually on your jenkins system how we do uh, or how we installed earlier okay so the procedure is same if you do remember search for maven download and go to maven page and uh, take the latest version so binary tar.gz this is the one i am taking copying link address and go to your jenkins i would like to install it under my opt itself wget and download the maven packages clear the screen ls it is downloaded and uh, untar it tar minus xvzf i'm untaring it and clear the screen ls and uh, 
this is the apache and i need to give the path of this one in the uh, what i can say home directory sorry bin bash underscore profile so before doing that one i just rename it to the maven apache to just maven this version okay so entire directory i am renaming it so that would be easy right just i'm giving as a maven as a name so what i have done i just renamed instead of having the Ma apache maven 3.6.3 just i renamed the directory name as a just maven so inside go to inside maven ls here you have the bin directory cd bin pwd okay so this is the path but till here we need to take now i am going to edit my uh, bash underscore profile so go to till dot sorry tilde slash dot bash underscore profile and uh, we haven't set up java path as well yeah we need to set it up okay so o m2 underscore home is equal to this one and m2 is equal to slash opt maven and slash pin okay this is the path now instead of slash opt maven we just give dollar m2 m2 underscore home as well because dollar m2 underscore home means it is going to replace this value with the uh, slash opt maven then it will be bin next path we are going to use the dollar m2 underscore home colon dollar m2 and even i would like to set up my java path as well let me grab my java path for this jenkins server so i can get that command from the or else i can go directly slash uh, bin find slash minus name java just it displays the where and all java is installed so you can see here you need to give the jar directory this is the one usr lib java uh, this one and this is the jar right so this is the location we should provide i believe let me grab the command here because it has been a while back github.com slash simple devops project and go to jenkins installation not jenkins jobs jenkins installation and jenkins installation and you need to search with this option so same thing i have done so yes we need to check for this path okay usr lib java so same thing i was talking usr lib java till here we need to set up our java path okay so i'm just setting up my java path as well sorry va tilde slash dot bash underscore profile okay so here we are setting up o java underscore home is equal to this path and uh, colon dollar java underscore home okay these steps we have already done when we were installing our maven but this time i have ran through little quickly because we know all this stuff now if i do echo dollar path it is not yet updated but if i if i do source tilde slash dot bash underscore profile so what exactly source command does do it re, uh, read the bash underscore profile again and whatever new changes you have done right now it will take up all those changes so earlier till here it was showing now it is showing that slash root bin slash opt maven slash opt maven slash opt maven bin and the java path okay all this stuff it has been came now even in my jenkins server also i'm going to use this path rather than using install automatically 
using install automatically i will use this path so let's go back to our jenkins again manage jenkins and uh, global tool configuration and uh, here maven i'm not using install automatically instead of that one maven home directory this is the one we have given right slash opt maven apply and save it now again i can go and execute the job this time what will happen it is not going to take up the maven which is automatically installs it is going to take up the maven which we have installed in our local system so let's again build it and this time it could be quite faster why because all the dependency plugins are already installed on our uh, system and it run run through quite faster and you can see here test cases and build is successful okay now if i go to my maven job okay and if i go to my slash where lib jenkins this is the default directory right so again workspace is the directory so pwd if you go inside to this one this is our maven job one and this time also we just executed package but uh, ls minus l you can see the timestamp currently it is 206 and date now 207 so just now it got created so every time whenever you execute your job your jar file get replaced with the latest one okay so this is how you can create your jink maven builds any questions okay. over here yeah shankar uh, so uh, we have set uh, this maven and java path on uh, root uh, i mean uh, root user but yes. we are running jenkins user right we are running oh, as a jenkins user i mean uh, this maven job so how does yes. the environment will be paths will be taken no even though you run it you can see here in the global tool configuration we are setting up right that is why we need to tell that where it is available global tool configuration is there here we are specifying uh, even java is like, right. yeah java path also we need to set up here sorry i think it is taking automatically yeah oh install yes install automatically it is taking yeah i missed it even java path also we need to set it up sorry okay. java home so java home path we need to set up the java home path otherwise it should fail yeah i forgot about that even in previous job also it should fail because java installation is automatically that is the reason even though we don't set up the uh, java path uh, it's it's working okay you should give the full path even for every tool there is a install automatical option is there if you are lazy enough to don't can't install over here then you can go with the install automatically option apply and save it okay so this is how global tool configuration going forward even whenever we are going to install sonar cube or artifactory you are keep we are keep on updating on the global tool configuration now what we are going to do is we are going to deploy on our tomcat server we are going to deploy on our tomcat server so we know uh, how to build the code from the jenkins by using maven now i would like to deploy on tomcat server now what we are going to do is we are going to configure our jenkins to deploy on tomcat server we are going to configure or uh, tell to our jenkins to deploy on our tomcat server so so to deploy on tomcat server we need a plugin to deploy okay deploy on container that is a plugin which is helps us to deploy on tomcat you can just go and search if you don't know plugin to deploy on tomcat or jenkins plugin jenkins plugin to deploy on tomcat server you can just search for the plugin name and deploy to container 
you can see here this is the plugin you need to use deploy to container so this plugin we should use and we can deploy on the container sorry tomcat server now we are going to install this particular plugin and we'll deploy on the tomcat server okay so now i'm going to start my tomcat server even we have deployed on tomcat server by using the mvn command itself rather than using mvn command we can go and deploy from our jenkins itself but we are using a plugin to deploy on the jenkins server so let's go and uh, install a additional plugin so manage plugins this time we are going to go with the available in available stage we have a plugin called deploy it's still loading deploy on deploy to right yep deploy to container this plugin allows you to deploy a var file to a container after successful build so choose this one and install without restart now deploy to container plugin maybe need some extension plugins it is installing that as well okay now it has been installed and go to jenkins and uh, just to make sure i'm going to log into my uh, tomcat server and start the services because it is not auto started we need to add it to the init i'm going to explain that in uh, saturday's class is it to minus user so now what i'm doing i'm going to become a root go inside to opt here apache tomcat bin directory and ls clear the screen ls start startup.sh so we have started tomcat and i can access my tomcat from the browser so go here and just uh, 8080 okay i'm not giving here let me copy it and uh, copy over here and you can able to access your tomcat server okay so this is our tomcat server now we are going to deploy on this tomcat server for that i am going to create a new job jenkins job that is deploy on tomcat okay deploy on tomcat and it is a maven project and okay next we need a github url which contains the var file if you do remember we haven't copied or we haven't created any uh, what i can say it github we don't have any github repository which is holding the dot var file okay so what we are going to do we are going to quickly create a new project which contains the var file then we'll update into our github repository from there we are going to clone it okay so now what i am going to do just think that i am asking developer that i need a java project which generates the var file not the jar file which generates the var file we need that project so that is what i would like to say now what i will do i am going here and i will generate the maven project that is mvn archetype mvn command will work right minus minus version if i check why mvn is not working this is on tomcat server i think sorry yeah so it is my jenkins server mvn so it's working mvn minus minus version what happened okay so mvn is working now we are going to create mvn archetype next generate 
and we need to search for what is the number of our from the template so just think that this all stuff is now developer is doing not as a devops engineer now i have asked my developer that i need a var file to test my uh, devops connection so he will create a var what a uh, web app application and give it to me and i can i'm going to use in my jenkins pipeline or uh, devops flow that's what i am going to do okay so the number is 1610 so let me cancel it now archetype enter one six one zero and default one seven next uh, group id com dot galaxy dot web app same thing i am giving earlier whatever we have given artifact id web app project snapshot let it be and package name also and i would like to go with this information now build happened where it happened in my home directory so now i will treat it as a i'm going to initialize it as a git repository so clear the screen ls git init dot right that is the how that is how you can initialize your git repository now this is a git repository git status if i see the one directory one folder i need to yet to push it so what i will do git add dot git status git commit minus m uh, i'm going to say that adding git repo sorry initial initial commit of web app project okay so this is what we have done now it is asking me to identify i will quickly going to run my email id is rsr31 sorry yeah rvas 829 and password sorry i need to give my name yeah shankar okay so i have configured but anyway git push or is a sorry git commit right git commit command so we have committed changes into the local repository but we haven't committed these changes into the remote repository if i do git push origin master does it go to the uh, github repository can somebody says say that what will happen if i execute this command uh, it won't go because we need to add the repository first git add yes so so far we haven't added any remote repository so it throws an error that i don't know to which repository i need to push so same thing is get updated in the git config file you can see here there is no repository information now i'm going to create a repository sorry i'm going to create a repository in my github so this is my github not here here is sorry yeah so here i'm going to create a new repository and will tell to my github to push this code into this repository so i have logged in as a rsr yep so repositories create new one web app project okay you can give any name but anyway just for naming convention i am giving web app project and uh, this time i'm choosing private not the public one okay it is a private and we'll see how jenkins can able to do that and i don't need readme file and create a repository now we need to did all this stuff we just need to add this one the, that okay this is my remote repository now i am telling to my jenkins uh, local repository that you need to use this repository as a remote repository now if i do git push origin 
master because we are pushing it into the master branch by default whenever you create your uh, repository you are going to get only master branch so git push origin master now it is going to communicate with this one i'm giving the credentials of this one or else i can copy my public key but uh, let it be let's use the credentials for now ersr319 is my username and uh, okay i think i need to give the full path ersr319 at gmail.com and uh, password okay all right my code get pushed into the remote repository now what uh, uh, developer does do that okay i have pushed the whatever code you asked it is available under this particular path that's how they will give the path to uh, De devops engineers so now i am a devops engineer now i have switched to my devops engineer role so i will take this particular url and i will give it in the github repository i will give it in the github repository now sorry uh, jenkins now it is saying that i could not able to find this one why because this is a private repository in the real world we are going to use the only private repositories we 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 never or we most of the cases we never go with the public repositories so you need to save your credentials uh, or you need to tell to your you need to tell your credentials to your jenkins so that it can go and get this one for that one you can add your credentials currently we have only Jen uh, we don't have any credentials you need to add your credentials so for that if you go here it is going to create credentials over here other way is just go here leave this page and you can see here credentials so you can see here global global nothing but for entire uh, these settings so in the jenkins i want to add it and if i go into jenkins again global credentials oops yeah global credentials and add credentials so this is the way you can come over here and create the credentials or else other way is directly it will take us into this path okay so now my github credentials i am giving so username is arsr319 at gmail.com and my password i have given and identification i will just give the uh, github git user okay git user nothing but it will display over there i will show you what will it do so save the credentials so the git user now again i am going back to my jenkins job so deploy on tomcat this is the one we were talking and um, configure because we haven't completed this particular job and uh, git and url and it could not able to identify now i'm going to choose my credentials you can see here i'm going to choose my credentials and with these credentials it could able to communicate with this repository with this repository now what i will do i'm not going to add my uh, jenkins server it's uh, sorry tomcat server now just we'll do the clean install sorry clean package okay just i am doing the clean package apply and save okay now we'll execute it now we are going to execute this particular job on a private repository okay in previous job it is a on public repository now it is a private repository and the uh, what i can say some of the plugins may change over here so if some plugins are necessary it is going to pull it you must specify sorry this is not clear clean right there is no what i can say life cycle phase called clear clear so you should choose clean again i am going to configure it is clean clean package okay clean apply save and build now okay now it is clean package you can see here it is executing the maven command on the pom.xml and this time it may need some additional third party repositories so it is pulling those because it is a var file earlier we were building a jar file right 
so it is pulling all the necessary plugins sorry packages and it builds the builds my code and this time it is going to generate my var file okay it has been successfully completed and it creates the var file the var file name is web app project 1.0 snapshot var now what i will do i am going to change the same configuration and i will tell to once the package is created deploy it on a uh, Tom, tomcat server for that purpose here you need to change install so install means the package will get created and this package on the post installation post nothing but once this is completed then we need to deploy the post right sorry once the uh, build is successful then post build actions comes once the build is successful we need to deploy it now you can see here deploy where are ear on container this option you don't get if you don't install the deploy to container plugin okay if you don't specify the deploy to container plugin you don't get it so deploy to container now you can see here where are ear file now where is your var file is located where is your var file is located and if you click on question mark it will tell you that where are ear file to deploy relative to the workspace root nothing but what does it do it will go and check in the workspace directory it will go and check in the workspace directory nothing but if i go here i'm in the web app project pwd if i go where lib jenkins web app okay so sorry where lib jenkins workspace so this is the default path here your job is job got created right so job name is uh, deploy on container okay this is temporary uh, it's created I, i'm not sure so we go inside to this one in this project where your var file is there so var file var file usually is under target under target we have a uh, web app project dot where is there and web app project also is there web app project if i go here index.jsp yeah here only pwd okay it is available under slash target slash target okay so this path we need to provide that okay our var file is available under this particular location okay so now what i will say after workspace after workspace and uh, our job name yep after workspace and our job name this is available under target so i will give target slash web app project why it is web app project it should be web app project snapshot right let me search for the form.xml what is the name we have given 1.0.1 web app project it is a var file so we should get this name but uh, our uh, var file name is this one so this is our var file name so target slash web app project dot var so take this particular var file and deploy on the target system so this context one is the context path is uh, uh, where you should uh, publish your var file but we can leave it as a empty for now okay we can leave it as a empty and add container so on which server do you want to install ours is tomcat server right so tomcat 1.8 okay not 1.9 because 8.x we have installed and this is the server and do we need credentials okay so you can see here again it is asking for credentials because we want to deploy on the tomcat server to deploy on tomcat server i need credentials without credentials i cannot able to deploy it if you do remember to deploy on tomcat server which uh, user we have used anybody when we were deploying through the maven we were admin. have used one user admin or tomcat no those two users are used to log in from the browser but for deployer. the deployment we, deployer. yeah because we need the script access so the user is deployer if i go here and if i check for the 
users that is under conf cat tomcat user dot xml and you can see here the deployer user he is having the script manager script access so we should use this user this user also again we need to add it to the credentials then only you can choose but otherwise you will get the git user information so again i'm adding that user under jenkins and go here i am giving a username as a deployer password also deployer i will give tomcat user okay and add it that's it now i have added the tomcat user deployer and the url of our tomcat server so the url of our tomcat server is this one that is our tomcat yep this one right so this url we should provide but this url keep on changing right so that is the reason we must use the public ip but for now i am giving the same url and apply and save you we need to do but anyway i am going to run through one one more time about our project so first thing is first thing is we are giving the github url this is the github url and it is a private repository that's the reason you should provide credentials we have provided credentials and it is going to build from the master branch next thing is we need to do the install of this particular plugin uh, that's the reason we need to clean clean nothing but remove the previous uh, uh, packages or previous var file and create a new var file that is the meaning of this clean and install this is the new goal so it creates the all the necessary uh, goals and it makes sure that your var file is available after that we are going to use the var file so var file is available after our workspace it is a job name it creates i mean to say deploy on container so same job name is there here so deploy on container is there after deploy and container we go inside to target under target we have a web app project dot where is there so the same path we have given and if you feel that this name is keep on changing we just give the star so star if you do give what will happen it is going to check for the where file whatever is available here we have a where file star means it is a wildcard character it equals to the any name it equals to the any name so star dot where we have given or else other way is this also will work this also will work we can give star star slash star dot where that also we can give now to deploy this where file we need a target environment so the target environment is this one and while deploying use the deployer user okay that's the meaning of this job and apply and save it now let's execute build now I am going to build and we'll see what happens. So it's generated var file and you can see here. Okay, it's generated a var file as a web app project dot var. Uh, then what happened? It also created a snapshot under which location? M2 home directory okay it keeps a snapshot under m m2 home directory this is not this one yeah this one yeah so where lib jenkins under jenkins it creates a m2 home directory and uh, you can see here this time it is using where lib jenkins earlier this m2 was created under root directory but this is a jenkins user so jenkins user is uh, treating it as a where lib jenkins is home directory by default this user so all the information is created over here and then once the var file is created uh, what happened deploying on the this particular location var file onto tomcat server on tomcat server there is a web app project dot var file has been created we'll go and check it out on the target system so this is uh, this is our tomcat server right so clear the screen maybe you may get confused by changing my screens so if i don't give any name it means that tomcat server if some name is there that is jenkins server jenkins server has then its own name so again i'm going back under web apps if i go and ls minus l so recently nothing but may 21st it has copied it web app project dot where and time if i see 
242. So 242, now it is 241. So it's created and copied, and I can access this one with this URL. Go to our application and slash your project name you should give. That's it. You can see here, hello world. Hello world has been uh, what I can say is the application. Now assume that my developer has changed his code. So again, I'm treating it as my developer system, my Jenkins server itself. So what he has done, he said that, uh, uh, okay, Shankar, I'm updating my code, you need to rebuild it. So what he has updated, he has updated again, main.ml web app, so index dot, JSP. So when VA index.jsp he has updated and uh, same thing H2 welcome to to Tomcat he is saying. Okay, so close it. Now once he has updated what he has to do again. Git status git add dot git commit minus m updated index dot jsp git push origin master okay that's it he has pushed his code sr319.gmail.com that password now he has pushed his code now my code has been updated right so now again i need to run the new job again i need to run the new job and he came back to me and he told that Okay, I have updated my code. So please go and build it. Now I have built it again. And this time it should get to deploy the latest code on my target system. And after job is completed, if I refresh my job, I could see the latest code. Okay, it's completed. And if I refresh it, I could see the my latest code. So this is how we can able to do our deploy uh, our code on the target system if you do remember same activity we were doing with the maven and you could see a lot of problems nothing but you need to update the palm.xml with the plugins and uh, you need to provide the credentials and a few other complications you might have seen but now we are not updating all this stuff manually because our plugin is there and uh, jenkins can able to take it up whatever is necessary Jenkins could able to take it up whatever is necessary and it is going to uh, What you can say build and deploy on the target environment Now assume that my developer frequently updating his code He is frequently updating his code and he is asking me that okay I have updated my code build and deploy build and deploy once it is deployed who will check the test engineers is going to validate this Code whether it is working fine or not so same thing he is frequently doing because he want to update his code frequently uh, to fix the bugs and he is deploying now again coming and building this particular job is always headache right that is the reason we have few other options to build automatically your jenkins job so those we call it as the build triggers so build triggers nothing but you are going to build your jenkins job in this particular situations so the options are different so build whenever a snapshot deploying is built sorry dependency is built this is a normal one nothing but manually to uh, do that one and the trigger build remotely remotely nothing but you can execute or you can build your uh, job by using scripts we rarely use this option next build after other projects are built if you have multiple projects one project is dependent on other project then we are going to choose this option but uh, now we can just ignore it we are going to talk about this one later next build periodically so periodically nothing but you can specify the time you can specify the time that when you want to build your job okay assume that uh, whether you are pushing the code or not every day night at 12 o'clock i want to build my job then you need to specify your build information or time over here but i don't specify that okay uh, 12 o'clock every day right midnight 
okay i cannot specify like this there is just some certain rules you need to follow to tell the time that we call it as a that we call it as a uh, what i can say yeah cron job so we are going to use the cron job to tell to your jenkins to build periodically so if i search for cron job okay cron job entry if you search or cron tab sorry not cron job it is cron tab so you can see here the linux command format this is how you need to give minutes hours day of the month okay month yeah day of the month month and uh, day of the week and command okay this is the entry you need to follow first one is at how many minutes you need to do hours and day of the month in which month you want to give and uh, uh, sorry day of the month means which date you want to do and month in which month you want to execute it and day of the week in which week you want to execute followed by the command what you need to do but the command is not necessary in our jenkins job we need to provide this information let's take an example that every day midnight you want to execute it uh, your jenkins job then what you can do you are going to specify over here that so midnight 12 o'clock right so 12 o'clock means minutes are zero zero and at 12 o'clock the usually the time it takes the as a zero to 23 hours zero to 23 hours if you see here Kranta. so hours it is going to take zero to 23 so zero means midnight 12 o'clock one o'clock means one one hour like that 11 o'clock means 23 hours night 11 o'clock means 23 hours so midnight 12 o'clock means it is zero hours it is zero hours so zero zero and zero zero i can give nothing but midnight 12 o'clock every day i want to execute so every day means i need to give one or two if i give only on first day of uh, uh, what i can say first day of the month it is going to ex execute second date third date but if you want to execute every day you can use the star option so star means it equals to the every day and the month also i don't want to specify either jan or february right every month i want to execute it so here also i need to give the star and the day of the week i cannot specify that monday tuesday wednesday why because every day i want to execute then you can give the star so the meaning of this one right ignore the date ignore the date month and uh, week you just execute it every day 12 o'clock every day 12 o'clock if i give only one one nothing but january okay one nothing but january so it is going to execute january month only every day on january month every day on january month if i give star it is every day every month every day every month so that is how the cron job does work so you can just explore this one how does it work you can see here month means 1 to 31 uh, month of month field sorry this is date day of the month so 1 to 31 this is month field 1 to 12 next uh, day of the week 0 to 6 if i give 0 means it is a sunday 1 means monday 6 means saturday that's how it is going to take it up so now what i will do i don't want to give the every day you can see here every day 12 o'clock uh, would last have run would last have uh, run at thursday may 21st so and so so and so 12 o'clock so it is going to execute to 12 o'clock and the next one is again friday 12 o'clock so it is clearly saying that these days it is going to execute it so anyway usually that's how the poll uh, build periodically does work so every uh, every day on this particular time i want to execute it next github hooker target uh, trigger so github hooker sorry github hook trigger nothing but in github itself you you can specify that if i push any code or if i push any changes to my github repository then execute this job execute this job that you can do but that we are going to see in next class and policm 
so pole hcm also to the similar way how your build periodically does work similar way it is going to work but the difference between pole hcm and periodically is build periodically is going to execute at this particular point of time whether there is changes in your code or not assume that i haven't changed my code today but still this particular job does uh, execute but if i do the pole hcm uh, if i give the same time every day 12 o'clock okay so assume that only we have specified build periodically if we do the build periodically whether you push your changes over into repository or not today i assume that i don't change anything still this particular job execute tomorrow i haven't changed anything in my repository still it is going to execute day after tomorrow also i haven't changed anything still this job is executed because the build periodically nothing but whether you change your code or not i am going to execute your uh, job but if i choose the pole scm what happens it is going to check your github assume that today i haven't pushed any change then it is going to uh, it is not going to execute this job tomorrow again i have pushed some changes then it is going to execute your build tomorrow day after tomorrow again i haven't changed anything day after tomorrow it is going to skip so that is how the pole acm works so pole acm works whenever you have you change your code then only it is going to work otherwise it is just sit idle so most of the cases we may use the pole acm or build periodically in our real world okay so now i want to execute this one every day every minute nothing but i cannot wait till 12 o'clock today right after doing changes we are doing uh, changes frequently so what i have given star star five stars i have given now what will happen in this case does anybody can tell the job will run every minute yes that's true now i am saying that star means every minute every hour every day every month every week so i am saying that run this job every minute without any issues now if i give only <clears throat> one here okay one nothing but first hour every day or zero one i can say every day one uh, what i can say uh at midnight or sorry mid, not midnight one means one o'clock every day one o'clock run every minute because we have given star right whenever it reached to the one o'clock one 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 two one three one four one five one six like that it uh, executed till two o'clock after two o'clock again it wait for next day so but we want to test it out how the pole acm does work so i am giving all the stars and i will update my code and push the changes and we could see that our build should happen automatically and push the changes onto our tomcat server and we could able to see the updates on our tomcat server so that is how automation does work now let's go into my jenkins server and i will add one more code sorry one more update to my code so v8 index.jsp and h3 okay this is devops class okay i'm just closing h3 and save this file git status git add dot git status now it has been added to my git status it has been added to my staging git commit again i am committing this change so updated again again updated index.jsp and clear git push origin master and i need to provide here sr319 at gmail.com and my password so it is headache i'm going to add my keys to my github repository so that it would be easy so go to my home directory i have already my keys i think dot ssh okay i don't have my keys quickly i'm going to create my keys git okay i will do this one in next class for now what we have done we have pushed our changes and you can see here four uh what i can say commits are sorry 
four jobs uh, four times this job is executed now fifth build should happen okay and this fifth build also without my intervention it should happen because we have done the poll SEM. now our jenkins job go and poll to our jenkins server sorry github repository in github repository there is a commit in the latest last minute i mean to say latest commit is there now our job should able to pick up that change and execute this job it is not executing let me refresh it yep okay it has been executed and if i open this one you can see here SEM changer it is executed not by jenkins user because we haven't executed as a user whenever you do or you execute as a user then only you can see this option and you can see on which code it is executing again updated index.jsp so this is the latest commit due to this commit i am executing this change okay and it is successful and if i go and refresh my page you can see the this is devops class so this is how we can automate our uh, CICD sorry pipelines or I can say our jobs to deploy on our uh, target systems now once it is deployed our testing team will start doing testing maybe it is uh, just displaying some information but usually in the real world it could be some application once it is deployed they will check whether the application is working fine or not they will run some test cases or sanity checks all those all that they will do they, and they report to their bugs to the developers again developer go and change his code and push it from his local system so it is a continuation process until we get the successful working code on our test environment once it is working successfully then we move on to the next level